But in this video, I've got three awesome Captain Morgan gingerbread uh, cocktail simple serves for you. Stay tuned. Hey, drinks fans. I am Steve the Barman, and I give you cocktail and drinks inspiration around some of your favorite brands. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, if that floats your boat, hit the subscribe button, and then dive into some of my other content once this video has finished today. Captain Morgan gingerbread he has been re-released into the UK 2020 as of October 2020 and it is lovely I really enjoyed it last year last year we had little diddy baby bottles like that this year we've gone we've gone grown up we've got big bottles so I've got three banging cocktails for you to try at home easy ways for you to enjoy this the first recipe I'm going to do for you is an espresso martini but to go a bit different let's go kind of rocks glass, julep glass, tumbler, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm going to do. So today, first ingredient, I'm going to go, and Captain Morgan's ginger, I'll, I'll link to a review I did of it last year. It's not actually overly sweet, but it has obviously got a little sweetish nose to it, but it's not overly sweet as much as you might think it is. So first ingredient, 45 mil, uh, one and a half ounces of uh, the gingerbread. I think it's exclusive in Asda at the moment in the UK. It's quite cheap, £13 a bottle. It's well worth it. Uh, so that's ingredient number one. Now, because that is a little bit sweeter and sweeter than essentially a vodka, something like that, uh, I'm instead of Kahlua, which is obviously kind of a sweet coffee liqueur, I'm actually going Mr. Black's for this one. Uh, and Mr. Black's is cold pressed, cold brew coffee. Uh, little, very little sugar is added to this, so it just balances out perfectly. Uh, for this one, I'm going 22 and a half mil, which is uh, three quarters of, of an ounce in there of coffee liqueur. Now, I don't often rock out Bailey's in my espresso martinis, but I'm going to for this one. I just think, why not? You know, I haven't done it for ages. I don't, obviously, as you can see, I don't use that much Bailey's because it's a little ditty bottle. Um, but for this one, I'm just going 15 mil, which is half an ounce. There we go, 15 mil in there. And then I just want my espresso, fresh espresso. As you've probably seen on all my video, I, I just use that, it works perfectly for home. If you've got an espresso machines at home, that's absolutely fine, but I promise you instant. Again, there's more, another video on my channel about that. Instant just works perfectly well. So for this, uh, I'm just gonna wash that in there. I just want 30 mil, one ounce of fresh espresso. There we go, 25, another five. Let's get rid of all the Baileys. Perfecto. Pop that over there. Right, now I'm gonna uh, shake this down. Ice it up, shake it down. Bit ginger, bit Baileys. Lovely, jubbly, right, there we go. Right, hard and fast shake. Take 12 seconds, proper welly. There we go. Oh, oh that's smelling good, that's smelling good. Uh, as I always say, if you're in a bar, restaurant, you know, fresh ice in there. If you're at home, just use that ice, just pour it straight in. That's absolutely fine. There we go. Right, top this up with fresh ice. There we go. Actually, let's put a bit of crushed ice on top. Lovely, jubbly. Right. Any garnish for that? You could go. I was actually, I was thinking, I was half thinking, I was doing um, a martini. So I've got my coffee beans ready to go. I was going to garnish that with coffee beans. But whatever you fancy garnishing it with. Some grated, oh, some grated nutmeg. What have we got? Ground, ground nutmeg or cinnamon. I won't, but you could go ground nutmeg, something like that. Or if you've got fresh nutmeg, just ground it over the top. Right, what's it taste like? Oh, 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 oh. Mm. oh that's really good. Really, really love that. Proper banging that one. Right then, cocktail number two. Now we're going martini time. I'm gonna serve it up in look, that little, lovely little tiki glass. Just gonna chill this down so it's nice and cold. Pop that to one side. Right, this, this is kind of an obvious serve, but I've just kind of tweaked it a little bit and it's lovely, really, really like this. So, uh, ingredient number one, 
45 mil again, one and a half ounces of your Captain Morgan gingerbread. There we go. Right, ingredient number two is some amaretto. Disarano, whatever you want to call it, amaretto. I'm just going 15 mil, uh, half an ounce of that. Disarano, so we've got almond in there. We've got a Obviously got the sort of gingerbread notes from that. Uh, right, next ingredient is some freshly squeezed lime juice. Again, 15 mil, half an ounce of that lime juice. And as always, the recipes are below in the description. So go and dive down there for you. Right, uh, I'm just gonna add a little bit of sugar to this. You don't need too much. I'm just going seven and a half mil. Uh, so a quarter of an ounce. Seven and a half mil of cinnamon sugar. That's what I've added to this, so cinnamon sugar. And then, uh, just to finish this off, I've got some pressed apple juice. Now, I was thinking cider. You could go, you could go a bit of cider as well. Cider would just work really well, especially something like scrumpy. But I've just gone 100% uh, pressed, supermarket own, uh, but pressed apple juice. And again, I want 45 mil, which is one and a half ounce of that right so there we go so i just need to uh shake this down and i it up i'll tell you the smells the smells coming off that already <laughs> right hard fast shake proper welly there we go right get rid of your ice that's chilling that down and then I uh, double strain as it's a martini glass. Where's my strainer? Typical bloke thing. I lost my strainer for a couple of minutes. It was sitting right in front of me. Just in the wrong pot. That's all. Typical bloke. Okay. Right. Uh, double strain that. Now, I haven't put any uh, any foamers in there. You could add some um, some of these bad boys if you wanted to. I just think just didn't think it was necessary. You could add some sort of miracle foam in there. You cream that sort of white layer of foam on top. Or use an egg white, it's up to you. I don't think you need to. Oh. That is lovely. I'm just gonna garnish this. Actually, have I got a spent, I've got a spent lime here. Just gonna garnish that with a spent lime on top there. Oh. The lime really cuts through. You've got that clean, fresh lime taste, but with the apple and the gingerbread, oh, that, I've, I seem to remember my, I haven't watched my review, should have gone back and watched my review, but I seem to remember last year it was apple juice. That was my recommended serve for that. Mm. Oh, big, big fan of that. What well, point of the video where I need to give a big, big shout out to my Patreons. Thank you so much. Uh, you members of my Legends Club, your names will be scrolling across the bottom of the screen there. My Patreon membership is just, it's all about me giving back. I love to teach, I love to help, I love to educate. Uh, so basically every month, all the perks in there, you can always download the free version of my cocktail book off any video. You'll see that in the comments and in the description below. But every month you get free updated uh, version of, of the, my cocktail book. It just gets bigger and bigger every month. There's lots of training videos in there. I've started to do a weekly podcast that goes in there as well. Uh, there will be some exclusive content as well. I've just had ideas that exclusive for exclusive content that go in there. So go and check out my Patreon page. It's cheap as chips, uh, but it is all about, I try and give as much value as possible. So go and check that out. Right, your third and final cocktail. We're going for a highball this time. I'm gonna serve it up in that. And this is a lovely, simple, an easy one as well, but I've tasted it. I made this last year and it's amazing. Love this, but it's a couple of different ways you can finish it off. So let's dive straight into it. Uh, 45 mil, uh, one and a half ounces of Captain Morgan gingerbread. There we go, that's ingredient number one. Now, ingredient number two, uh, I'm going for some Chambord, which is a black, uh, black raspberry li liqueur, not to be confused with blackberry. Uh, that is that is a blackberry liqueur. Uh, black raspberries are kind of very different. They're kind of in between, a cross between a raspberry and um, uh, obviously a blackberry. But they're not quite, they're not as sweet as blackberries. So uh, we're going 15 mil, half an ounce of uh, Chambord. In there. You could 
I, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to this, but the whole point of me saying, if you've got that as a raspberry liqueur or something like that, chiffon bowls or that, because it's a little bit sweeter, you might not need the sugar. Uh, whereas Chambord's a little bit drier. So uh, I've got 15 ml, half an ounce of uh, Chambord in there. I'm going for some freshly squeezed lemon juice, uh, 15 ml. Again, half an ounce. Now for the sugar for this, it's very much adjust to taste, I think. Very much adjust to taste. I'm going for uh, just under 10 ml, I think. Seven and a half ml, quarter of an ounce. I, don't, I personally don't need that much more. Uh, but as I say, if you're... Yeah, just adjust the taste. If you think it needs more sugar for you, just add a little bit more sugar. There's no right or wrong to it. Right, uh, I'm just going to ice this up. The, the final ingredient is coming after the shake. Right, there we go. Good, hard, fast, proper welly. Right, that's all nicely shaken up. Oh, the raspberry and the ginger. Oh, I promise you. I promise you. Right, the final ingredient. There's two ways you can go with this. Uh, I was actually going to go ginger ale, kind of the dry ginger ale, but I think actually lemonade. Lemonade, just a decent sort of lemonade will work as well with this. So I'm, I'm not actually going to use the can of dry. Uh, I'm going lemonade, and again, 45 mil, one and a half ounces. There we go. Now pour that into the shaker. So we don't have to um, sort of stir it up in the glass. Now I just need to single strain into my highball. Lovely. You could even you could even muddle fresh raspberries down or use a raspberry puree. That might work quite well as well. Um, if you're in a pub bar, fresh ice. But if you're at home, just use that ice again. No need to strain it. You could have just poured that straight in. Lovely, jubbly. Now I'm just going to top it up with crushed ice. There we go. And then just a simple garnish for this. Uh, I've just got three raspberries sitting on top there, whatever you fancy. I could have got, I've got some more spent lime there. You could have done something like that as well, look. How's that look? That looks a bit better, doesn't it? There we go. Right. What's this taste like? Oh, raspberry. Raspberry and ginger. Oh my God, that's... That is absolutely divine. Right, uh, my order. I think this is quite easy, actually, for me. I'm going one, two, three, that way around. I just started doing this in all my videos. I'll get Mummy Barman to rate them as well. But for me, one, two, 